Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to talk about candlestick mat and candlestick blending pattern such as tweezer top and tweezer bottom, bullish and bearish engulfing, piercing and dark cloud cover, three white soldiers and three black crews. And finally, I'm going to show you that you can blend as many candles as you wish to find the equivalent. Let's assume you have two candles in line in your price chart. When you combine the two candles, the outcome of the chart can be more significant. This way you will you will have a sharper view of the market reversal. When you blend two or more candles to form one candle, you certainly capture the essence of the pattern and identify the exact entry and exit points. In other words, you will be able to spot wonderful trading opportunity. Using candlestick pattern has always been complicated and cumbersome to traders, but candlestick blending will give you the tool to overcome this complication and suggest an easy method to understand the market and price action. When you add two, three, or more candles together, you want to get a single candle with a new body and a new wicks that exactly represent the outcome of the candles you combine. Here we are not concerned what type of candle we are dealing to combine whether it is candle with a large body or shorter body, a doji, a hammer, or bullish and bearish engulfing, or whatsoever, when you are dealing with candlestick mat. Each candlestick consists of four important elements. Number one, the body. A large body shows a strength and it shows an increase in momentum and also shows how far the price has gone over the duration of the candle. A shorter body shows a decrease in momentum. Number two, the length of the wigs. A large upper shadow represents significant selling or a bearish signal, even if the body of the candle be green. A large lower shadow represents significant buying or a bullish signal, even if the body of the candle be red. Number three, the ratio between the body and the wigs. In high momentum trend, we usually see long body with shorter wigs. When the body becomes shorter, the wigs become larger due to rising uncertainty and higher volatility. And finally, number four, the position of the body. If you have long wigs and a small body in the middle of the candlestick means indecision. These four elements are extremely important to understand if you want to be a part of a market traders. Candlestick pattern is simply show us a battlefield between the bulls and the bears, the buyers and the sellers. The question come to our mind is, who is ahead, the bulls or the bears? Who is in control? Who has a better chance to win? And finally, who is pulling back, the bulls or the bears? As a good trader, it is very important to know the answer of these questions. How candlesticks can be blended? The rule to add two candles together is to take the open of the first candle 
and the close of the second or last candle and the high and the low of the pattern it's simple as that we have to keep in mind that if the two candles that we want to blend be in one hour time frame the resultant candle or the blended candle will have two hour time frame because we blend two one hour candles let's see the following examples of adding two arbitrary candles in one hour time frame in this graph we have two candles the first one is a bearish bearish candle the second one is a bullish candle both of them they are in one hour time frame each candle represents one hour of trading the rule to blend these two candles together is we take the open of the first candle and then we take the close of the second or last candle in this case the second candle and then the high and a low of the pattern now the outcome is going to be a bearish hammer with two hour time frame because two one hour we blend in order to get this two hour uh, hammer in this graph we see bearish tweezer top that is seen at the top of an upward trend and bullish tweezer bottom that is seen at the bottom of a downward trend the first one has two candles the first one is a, a bullish the second one is a bearish with each one one hour time frame in order to blend these two candles together we take the open of the first candle we take the close of the second candle so this portion is going to be the body of the resultant and then we take the high and a low of the pattern so the resultant is going to be a bullish shooting star now in this case we have a bearish candle and a bullish candle in order to blend these two candles we take the open of the first candle a close of the second candle and a high and a low of the pattern now we get a bearish hammer since each one is in one hour time frame then the bearish hammer is going to be in two hours time frame this is a bullish engulfing and this is a bearish engulfing bullish engulfing is seen at the bottom of a downward trend and a bearish engulfing is seen at the top of an upward trend in order to blend these two candles together the rule is we take the open of the first candle and we take the close of the second candle and the portion between these two is this small green that it comes here and we take the high and a low of the pattern so the outcome is going to be a bullish hammer in this case we take the open of the first candle we take the close of the second candle and the high and a low of the pattern then the outcome is going to be a bearish shooting star both of them they are in one hour time frame this is in one hour time frame and the resultant is going to be this hammer in two hour time frame and shooting a star also two hour time frame piercing pattern is seen at the bottom of a downward trend dark cloud cover is seen at the top of an upward trend in order to blend these two candles together in piercing pattern we take the open of the first candle we take the close of the second candle and we take the high and the low of the pattern 
and the outcome is going to be a bearish hammer. Since both of them in one hour time frame, the result and this hammer is going to be two hour time frame. Dark cloud cover, the first candle is bullish, the second candle is bearish. Then we take the open of the first candle, close of the second candle, and high and a low of the pattern. The outcome is going to be a bullish shooting star with two hours time frame. In this graph, we have two patterns. The first one is three white soldiers and three black crews. In order to blend these three candles together, the rules is the same. We take the open of the first candle, we take the close of the last candle, and we take the high and a low of the pattern. So what we get is a long bullish candle. Now, if this long bullish candle didn't have wigs, then it it was it become a bullish marabozo. In these three candles, if we blend these three candles together, we take the open of the first, we take the close of the last, and we take the high and the low of the pattern. And then we get a long red candle. Now, each candle, let's say, if it be in one hour time frame, then the long bullish candle it has a three hours time frame and the same thing for this one if each candle be in one hour time frame then this candle will be in three hours time frame now finally we arrive to a point that we can blend many candles so you Sometimes you see that in the price trend, the price trend zigzag for a while, and you don't know whether the trend is going to go up or down. Where if you know the candlestick math, you can add them up and you see what is going to be the resultant. And the resultants tell you exactly what to do. Now here we have 18 candles that we can all you know we can blend all of them and see the resultant all these candles they are in one hour time frame and the resultant is going to be in 18 hour time frame now the rule is the same we take the open of the first candle we take the close of the last candle. This is the last candle. We get the close of the last candle. And this portion, this bullish portion, is going to be the size of the body of the resultant. And then we take the high and a low of the pattern. So the resultant is going to be a long bullish hammer. And you know that bullish hammer usually it's a warning sign that the trend is going to change from downward to upward direction so it means that the trend will go up so the only thing is you have to wait for the confirmation candle to form if the confirmation be bullish then you can enter the market If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave your comments. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.